Welcome to the session. Uh, with the release of the new AI chip Blackwell from NVIDIA in their GTC 2024, low latency high bandwidth networking need to catch up to um, ensure that you know, the AI is uh, success in the future for uh, uh, large uh, workloads. For democratizing AI for enterprise, leveraging data center and Ethernet to drive AI adoption is a key. We are going to cover that in this presentation. So let's look at the AI opportunity. So AI driving the next wave of innovation and efficiency, the, uh, the, but the adoption is limited due to high cost and complexity. Um, so enterprise need to affordable seamless path to AI integration. Today, um, uh, most of the high performance HPC and also the AI workloads are running with the Infiniband technology, which is uh, um, which is actually very expensive as well as uh, availability of uh, from a limited uh, vendor and also um, the there is the knowledge on the um, infiniband is also very limited uh, in the industry these are some of the limiting factors uh, factors for the ai workload uh, um, future growth so it's very important that you know the some of the ethernet technology which is the most popular and deployed technology in the enterprise need to be evolved to support the high performance ai workload so with the release of the nvidia's blackwell um, as well as the cerebras uh, uh, CS3, um, it is uh, now uh, the C GPU is at the highest running, uh, we have a highest uh, CPU uh, available, but the networking is behind compared to the uh, GPU for uh, AI infrastructure. So the, the ma and, and also the, it, it, the, for the AI workload, it's, uh, along with the GPU, it's required a massive bandwidth and the low latency demand. And the network, um, so the networking uh, technology need to be evolved and also data center need to be um, kind of a rethink of the new architecture for the um, uh, data center to support this uh, lag of a net network compared to the GPU to catch up to ensure that in you know, the AI um, is uh, uh, AI infrastructure is successful uh, with the new generation of um, networking uh, in the future. So the, uh, it's very important that you know Ethernet-based um, uh, data center portfolio need to be uh, supporting the the AI workload at the scale and uh, with the high bandwidth and uh, low latency. So that's uh, because uh, first of all, Ethernet is the most deployed technology today in the enterprise, and uh, um, that's in, uh, the current investment need to be leveraged to ensure that um, they don't need to come bring up a new technology. Uh, and also making sure that AI democratization beyond in hyperscalers. What that means is actually most of the AI today experimentation of workloads is running in the hyperscaler uh, like uh, Meta, Google, uh, Microsoft, etc. Uh, which they because they have a, a, a lot of capital to invest as well as uh, you know the the required um, resources to run that, but. It, the, the, for the successful run of the uh, AI is very important to have the democratizing this into the enterprise level where, with the Ethernet technologies crucial for the uh, future AI um, exponential growth. So you know, which, here we want to cover some of the key technology development is going on in this space on the Ethernet. Uh, yeah, it's actually um, and on other uh, uh, technologies. So it's a high-speed Ethernet and optics innovation from uh, Cisco, who is one of the leader in the networking technologies like 800G and 1.2 terabyte. And then also NVIDIA GPU accelerated with the NVLink over Ethernet. It's another um, uh, well um, uh, technology evolution. And uh, the key other area of innovation required is the uh, um, uh, software defined data center or uh, automation and orchestration and uh, telemet uh, monitoring of uh, make, making sure that these entire uh, uh, infra AI infrastructure and net along with um, um, networking storage and uh, compute virtualization can automate uh, end to end automation to accelerate uh, AI workload uh, uh, growth. So yeah, so the, as we mentioned earlier, there are some key partnership uh, between different vendors going on to um, making sure that some of this uh, uh, Ethernet technologies and other technologies are evolved for supporting the future workload for uh, 
um, AI heavy um, low latency and uh, high bandwidth, uh, um, high throughput workload. So engineering co uh, core development with the GPU innovation like NVIDIA with the Ethernet technology innovation like Cisco, um, uh, um, validated design and solution architecture, uh, combining these uh, from uh, multiple vendors and also convergence of AI processing and uh, networking. Um, this is another area of uh, how um, this can be achieved uh, with the uh, collaboration between different vendors in the industry. So now, so why Ethernet? Uh, because another, I, I think we covered a little bit about that, but you know, so why is the Ethernet is a key technology required to support um, the AI workload, high scale, uh, high, uh, you know, hyperscale AI workload. The reason is that it's a massive install base and the decade of optimization of Ethernet technology and the adaptability and also the availability of the people who have the resources availability of uh, knowledge in the Ethernet uh, uh, technology for the past um, uh, t three decades. And the performance parity with the InfiniBand exam. Uh, so, and also there are so many um, the validation with um, you know, uh, the Ethernet uh, along with the InfiniBand. And it's fine that, you know, so like some of the Meta's uh, deployment, they have a, uh, identified Ethernet have a parity with the uh, InfiniBand today. And uh, unified fabric for storage data and GPU. That's another important thing. Uh, we have a, the converged fabric for uh, storage data. Uh, GPU with the Ethernet technology is a crucial for uh, uh, the uh, the future success. Yeah. So let's look at some of the um, uh, enterprise and industry benefit with evolving this uh, um, uh, fast. Uh, uh, scalable and high throughput and low latency technology for Ethernet. So it's cost it's cost effective and scalable um, AI infrastructure uh, uh, for enterprise and industry. That's a benefit, and then enable um, new use cases across verticals because there will be innovation can be done from uh, um, uh, in parallel from uh, most of the industry. Uh, it's enable that. Another one is the key. Another one is uh, the most uh, massive growth for the edge uh, where the data is closer to the user. That is where, that also very crucial. Most of those are deployed today with the Ethernet. So evolving the Ethernet technology in the uh, edge will also you know evolve um, um, AI deployment and uh, also training in the uh, edge network. Uh, so these are the, some of the future area where uh, innovation required is the one is the optical network innovation, coherent optics. Uh, so this is to get uh, the increase the bandwidth and also uh, the highest bandwidth. Uh, uh, availability in the, um, the optical technology and the distributed A pricing at the edge. So edge again, you know, the uh, workload in the edge is a very crucial uh, for AI success um, because of the amount of uh, massive data uh, movement in the edge uh, close user to the um, closer to the user, which is a key success for the AI. And then uh, uh, new experience and uh, business model. So we need to make sure that with the new evolution of this technology, we have a uh, expansion of the um, the business model aligning to this uh, evolution. Yeah, so here is a comparison Steve, um, a spreadsheet uh, uh, comparing the InfiniBand tech and the Ethernet. And if you look at in a summary, if you can, you will see, uh, so the cost is almost um, double uh, on InfiniBand compared to Ethernet. And also, um, uh, if you look at uh, the even the throughput is pretty much very close, and then if you look at the uh, the scale of the number of uh, the enterprise market share, if you look at uh, it's almost like eighty percent for the Ethernet and twenty percent, which is very crucial as we discussed in the early slides. And then the ecosystem support. You look at I think you know we have a very limited vendor supporting the um, uh, supporting the InfiniBand, but if you look at uh, Ethernet, which most of the vendors are supporting Ethernet today, and the storage integration again, it's uh, one of the key um, uh, separate infrastructure required for InfiniBand. But for the for the converged fabric, we have the converged fabric where uh, um, it's it available in the Ethernet from an overall uh, uh, storage point of view. And then and again, it's a uh, um, uh, vendor lock-in. We have very limited vendor. We have InfiniBand, so it will be a. Uh, and then uh, for the Ethernet, there are uh, multiple vendor available. So it, it's it, in that way, it's better for the Ethernet. And the adopt 
adaptation barriers and also it's a niche technology infinity band and the complex uh, and also resource availability is limited so existing skill set and also infra, uh, infrastructure as well as uh, easily um, easily adoption for the internet technology for enterprise workload uh, a workload so so it's, so so hope uh, this comparison pitch should help you uh, kind of you know how where actually the pros and cons of each as well as uh, why is ethernet is superior to infinipan in terms of like um it, the the benefits for the enterprise point of view so in summary uh, with our ethernet based approach in power enterprise to um, cap capitalize on the ai revolution by leveraging existing data center and network investment for rapid um, affordable ai de development and deployment so it's uh, to hope uh, this uh, um presentation help you understand uh, uh, the the ai infrastructure uh, specifically on the focusing on the networking why is uh, crucial to have uh, um, evolution of the ethernet to support the low latency and uh, high bandwidth high throughput uh, um, network for uh, supporting the high uh, hyperscale uh, ai workload uh, for uh, uh, the future success of the ai